Hey everyone, today we're going to try out the Docker M1 tech preview. So this was released just a few days ago and we're going to put it to a test. I've created a .NET application here. So I, I just ran the command .NET new MVC, which creates you a new MVC application from a template. And let's try and run that here. So while that runs, I've already downloaded the Docker preview app here and let's install that. So our goal will be to run this application here in production mode inside of Docker. Uh, I do already have a Docker image created here. All it does is download the Docker image for the .NET SDK version five, and then builds the application, publishes it to this folder called app. In stage two, we, we just have the runtime of ASP.NET. And then from the uh, app directory, it just starts the application up. So it's a very simple Docker image and it should work if everything works inside of Docker. So looks like it was installed. So let's try and run that Docker app. Let's open this. So at least there were no errors in the installation. Let's see if this works. Let's go to the dashboard. Okay, so plain, simple, blank Docker. Uh, now we're gonna try and build this image. Okay, so that seems to be completed and we have the Docker image. Should be in our images right here, yep. And then what we're going to do is run this Docker image and then run it docker run, then we give it the, the tag. And it seems to load up properly. So in order to access our application with our localhost in, from inside of Docker, we do have to add another line to our Docker image called expose. And we know the application runs on port 80. So we'll expose port 80 here and save, save that. So let's build a new Docker image now with that new line added. So docker build t.net test, we'll name this one version four. Okay, now that's built. And what we'll do is run the same command, but with the port forwarding. So that'll be docker run port. Now we want to map, let's say port 5000 to port 80 inside of docker. And then we give it the image name and now that's started, so you can see it's running on port 80, but we've said Docker that it should forward port 5000 from our localhost. So let's go to localhost 5000 again. And we still see the same thing, which is what we expect. So everything seems to run properly, at least in a simple test. There may some be some more issues like the page lists here, there are some problems. Sometimes you may need to run it inside of a uh, an Intel image with emulation. So you can do that with this command here. Uh, we didn't have to do that with the .NET Docker image, so that's good. I would assume the issues get larger and smaller as you go, so keep an eye on this page. Also, one thing is to keep downloading the newest version because the Docker preview, so as you can see here, it says preview it doesn't update automatically. So you'd have to check in on this page and see if there's a new version. And that's all for this one. And I'll see you in the next video.